Now at this point, we are going to calculate the mass of Kool-Aid needed for a 0.1 molar solution when we are making 0.1 liters of this solution. We are also going to make 0.4 molar solution of Kool-Aid, which will have a higher concentration. In order to do this, we're going to need that molar mass that we calculated, and we need to figure out the mass in grams for a 0.1 molar solution. The way to do that is to convert 0.1 moles, because when we're saying molarity, we're looking at 0.1 moles over one liter. We need to find out how many grams are in 0.1 moles. So we do that by converting. So we'll start with 0.1 mole. Then we're going to use this conversion factor, okay? And we're going to get rid of moles. We'll put one mole. I'm going to put the 180.18 grams. Here, I'm going to put sugar because that unit is going to be there at the end. Here, I'll see that moles cancel moles, and I have 0.1 times 180.18. That gave me 18.01. So, what this is telling me is that in a 0.1 molar solution, I would have 18.01 grams of sugar in that one liter. So I'll say 18.01 over one liter. Now the problem is we don't want to create one liter of a solution. That would be a large amount. This pitcher is full to the one liter point. That is too much for our lab. We do not want to make that much. If we made that much, we would have a lot of waste. We're trying to avoid waste. So we are going to figure out for that tenth of a liter, that 0 0.10 liter, 0 0.1 liter, and we're going to see how much sugar how much Kool-Aid we would put in 0.1 liters. And the way we're going to do that is with cross multiplication. So let's do that. We're going to say this is equal to x over 0 0.1 liters. Now with the cross multiplication you have done in the past, we're going to connect these two terms and these two terms. And we'll go ahead and rewrite this equation as a proportion. 18.01 grams. We're going to multiply this by 0 0.1 liters. This is going to be equal to x times 1 liter. Now this should look like something you're a little bit more familiar with. Because we want to get x by itself, we are going to divide away that one liter. So we'll go one liter on this side. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we will also divide one liter here. Liters are canceled. And we'll end up with 18.01 grams times 0 0.1. That will give us our amount of sugar that we're going to need to put in that 0.1 liter. So we'll take that 18.01 times 0 0.1 equals, and that tells us we have 1.801. Since we're rounding to two decimal places, we're going to say x equals 1.80. What's the unit? Grams. And we're talking about sugar. Now, 
in our new solution, that 0.1 mole in the 0.1 liter is going to require 1.80 grams of sugar. So I'll say 1.8 grams. Let me put that zero back because we were measuring to two decimal places. It's going to be in 0 0.1 liter of water. This is our recipe to create this 0.1 molar solution. These can get kind of tricky. Let's do the next one. In the next question, we're going to go with a 0 0.4 molar solution. That means we have more moles than we had last time. So I want you to set up your problems just as you did before. It's almost exactly. The only thing different is we're going to use, instead of 0 0.1 moles, we're going to use 0 0.4 moles. So we'll say 0 0.4 mole. Sugar weighs 180.18 grams of sugar. This will tell us how much 0.4 moles would weigh, and that's how much would be in a liter. So we'll take 0.4 times 180.18 equals. 72.072, which we will say 72.07. This is how many grams we would put in one liter of a 0.4 molar solution. It's going to have a higher concentration. This should be sweeter because there's more sugar in it. Now, we don't want to make, again, a whole liter, so we're going to take this mass, 72, 0 0.07, the mass that we would need to make one whole liter, and we are going to put that over one liter. We're going to call this grams, and we're going to set this up again to make that 0 0.1 liters. X is what we have to solve for because we want to know how many grams, and it's going to be less than this that goes in here. So with this, we do again cross multiplication. 72.07 times 0 0.1 liters, and we're going to say, put grams here, is equal to x times 1 liter. So again, we're going to divide 1 liter from both sides. This is going to get rid of liters. This will get rid of liters too. 72.07 times the 0 0.01 equals, and that will take us to a different number here. I think I made a number, plus the number incorrect. I'm going to redo that. 72.07 times 0.1. So there you can see that now I did make that error, and it's 7.207 grams of sugar will be needed to make 0 0.1 liters of this solution. Now, if our recipe here would be measuring 7.207, which we would actually call 7.21 when we rounded it to two decimal places. And in that 0 0.1 liter, we put 7.21 grams of sugar in there. Now, you have one more calculation to do, and you are going to have a 
8.7 molar solution rather than 8.4 or 8.1. So your numbers are going to vary slightly. I will not do this calculation. You must do this one. I'm not going to give you any help on that. Those should help you through your calculations.